Alright, so uh, I haven't been on YouTube, actually I've been on YouTube, I just haven't made a video in, in uh, about two weeks. But uh, I figured I'd make a video today, a little short one. Um, I've been noticing on YouTube lately, a lot of people are starting to um, bitch. It's revolution time. A few YouTube celebrities, uh, Renato among them, have been uh, making videos about people getting banned off of YouTube for no reason and I, in some cases I think they're correct but uh, in many cases I think YouTube had due cause um, there's a YouTuber or there was a YouTuber well it's unseen yet if YouTube will reinstate his account um, just sorry was the account name uh, a 13 year old actually no he was 12 years old and uh, he was uh, suspended from YouTube because he himself was 12 years old but his father was, I don't know how old his father was. Anyway, the father had uh, also provided incorrect um, information in the profile. Yes, when do we use real information in our profiles? And YouTube does have a point. Um, if you make an account and you say you're 106 years old uh, and you're really well, let's say 50, uh, you could be banned. Or if you uh, say that you're, well, could it be, if you're, 30 year, if you're 30 years old and you say I'm 35, could you be banned? Under the terms of service, you could be. Probably not, but yes. There are also a couple of a couple of other YouTubers uh, out there, among them Lisa Nova, has become prominent um, for name calling. Um, there's lots of claims out there that she's been spamming comments. Now, I'm not saying one thing or the other, but I'm sure you've received, or it's very possible you've received some of her comments. Um, I subscribe to her. It doesn't bother me. Her comments don't bother me. But shouldn't she be banned from YouTube? She is using a um, robot, an electronic robot to transmit her comments. That's banned in the terms of service. Um, I should also point out that she is a member of YouTube's partnership program. Um, will YouTube ban her? I don't know. We'll have to see. The name calling has, uh, I think, gone somewhat out of control here on YouTube. People are pointing fingers at everybody. People are making to do about nothing. I remember seeing a video just last week uh, that had a lot of support. Um, they were claiming that uh, Corey Williams, uh, known on YouTube as Mr. Safety or username SMP Films, the claim was that he was letting his videos autoplay on, uh, on I believe his MySpace page. Um, little do these people know that YouTube actually encourages people to autoplay their movies. Think before you speak. So should Jasari have his account reinstated? I don't know. Um, He's not 13 years old. Um, YouTube requires that you are to be 13. If they were to change it, um, certainly he would be allowed on YouTube. Um, I think he's probably mature enough to make uh, videos. I mean, he had something like 1,400 subscribers. Uh, he seemed like a pretty cool kid, although I have never seen one of his videos. Um, I, I don't have a problem with it. But what about the other... Um, 100,000 underage kids on YouTube. Um, I think in some cases we do have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Uh, pardon the pun. There's a lot of hypocrisy lately on YouTube. Uh, I've been looking at many videos that uh, request that this young man's account be reinstated. Uh, the Jasari account. Um, but I've noticed that in some of these videos, or video that I've seen, uh, where they claim 
he in nowhere and in no way violated terms of service these support videos have copyrighted music um, I think if you're going to be on that point that you should at least follow YouTube's terms of service um, it's obvious that there was uh, no due process in his case um, and that's simply because YouTube is not a country YouTube is a corporation is owned by Google they're going to do what they want to do so if uh, they do something that doesn't fly that we don't like then we need to say so um, just like I'm making this video now I don't approve of what YouTube has done um, and I think in every case with corporate power everybody should voice their own opinion I think a lot of the complaints and a lot of the videos that I have seen all comes down to money. YouTube has a partnership program and chances are you aren't on it and neither am I. Would I like to be on it? Sure, absolutely. But uh, understand YouTube has to conform to copyright law. If you're going to violate that copyright law, YouTube does not want to support you. In any event, I hope that, and I believe that YouTube will hear the cries of the YouTube community and that we'll all be able to come back and enjoy what YouTube was, not a bunch of bickering, um, a lot of complaining, um, who did it type stuff. YouTube is sharing, YouTube it is... Uh, YouTube is fun, or YouTube was fun. I still enjoy YouTube. I see a lot of people that don't. So, anyway, uh, watch out. You could be next. This is Xander Coffin coming to you from the bat farm. See you later. It's revolution time. It's revolution time.